small look how big the crowd Same pair threes for the whole tour Trap phone in the iPhone 4 Still got do all my old chores Still cop squares from the old store, hey Hey, what's coming guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get GTA 5 for free on the PC. As you guys can see, it's the 9th of December 2016 and this is fully working. For starting off guys, what you're going to need to do, you go down to the description and download the file I have down there. You should download a WinRare folder and inside that should be a, a torrent file. Uh, just double click that and whatever torrent software you use should open. So for the video, I have uTorrent and then you just want to click uh, where you want to save it. I'm going to select desktop, select folder and then click OK. Now once that is done, you have the option to delete the file from uTorrent and then close it down. Uh, that's optional if you guys want to do that. But once that's done on your desktop, you should have a folder um, called GTA 5 and then you want to open that and you should see an ISO file. Now from here, all you guys want to do is just extract it to the folder and once that is done, it should leave um, a folder in that folder and inside that folder should be the setup to GTA 5. I don't know how that came across but I don't know if I could word that any better. But inside that you should see the setup and then all you guys have to do is click that and run it. Now as you guys can see it should say uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your computer. Just click yes and it should open the installer. Now it's going to say support to software de developers if you like this game, buy it. Definitely rec I recommend buying the game, I have it myself on Steam and it's definitely well worth the money. So click next, next and then install and this should take up to about an hour depending on your computer but once it's done I will get back to you guys. Simply click on all the tick boxes and then click finish. Now from here we'll start opening up installers and stuff for you guys to install all the necessary parts for GTA 5. Uh, if you don't do this it will not run. Alright, now that it's done, there's only one step left to do. You want to right click on GTA 5 and then open file location and then go back to the folder you originally downloaded and then go to the folder with GTA 5 in it and then go to crack and then copy all of them files. Now all you guys will want to do is paste all of them files into GTA 5's directory and then click on uh, do this for all current items and then continue. Now from here guys all you have to do is open GTA 5 and it should work 100%. Now, I'm not sure how to fix all of these problems, but if you guys do have any problems with this, comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Um, if you end up skipping the step where you have to click on the four tick boxes, please do not skip that step as that could probably cause problems for you guys playing the game. 
I'm not too sure. I, I reset my computer really recently, so I didn't have like direct sec, uh, direct X and framework. But if you have all of them um, that ask you to tick, you don't need to do that part. It's just if you don't have them, then that is necessary to play GTA 5. But I'll leave you guys with some footage of uh, story mode. And I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. My name is Dylan at King7. And I'll see you in my next upload. Later. Well, that was a gay ass outro. I'm sorry, I'll see you in the next one.